Have you ever made your cover only to figure out it wasn't going to be big enough? Maybe you're doing a Dear Julie Julie challenge and your finished journal is going to be a gator mouth. Well, I'm going to reconstruct this one right here, right now. Hi, everybody. It's Julie. And I am here to reconstruct and make this cover. So um, I already have it already ready. Bummer. Um, and this is part of the one box junk journal challenge on the Dear Julie Julie channel. What that means is I can only use the things in my box. <laughs> to um, finish this journal. So I was kind of stuck and, um, but luckily I, because of the mini challenge and the challenge was able to replace an item or two. So I have added this tracing paper that was in my mom's um, stash and it has a cover Excuse me, it has the back piece here that is going to be perfect for my little journal here, okay? So, um, first things first, I need to get rid of this spine, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and try and make this so that I can get to it. I can't believe. It. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it. Because, you know, why not? Here, let's cut it right in the... Okay, so I'm going to cut my spine off just like... And that's going to give me my front panel. Have you ever had to do this? Or do you have a cover sitting over there that is too small and you really wish you could make it bigger? So I'm just cutting. I thought I was going to have to use my magic scissors, but these are working. My magic scissors are my Cutco scissors that will cut through pretty much anything. So there is my spine. See you later, spine. And so I do want to clean this up. Okay. Okay. Now um, I need to decide what size I want this to be. I am thinking at least two and a half inches. That's what I've been doing lately is two and a half inch spines on the challenge journals. Um, I think that'll be, be good. I think I want to use this side here. So I'm going to go to two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So I've really tried a lot of things to make this journal um, not get too bulky. And of course, you know, it's, it's still too bulky, but it's okay. It's, it's better than it could have been because I have taken precautions to hopefully have it be good. Okay, so, oh, there we go. It did come off. Okay, we need another one. So I'm going to do two of them, especially since I'm doing an actual, I'm using an actual book. Sometimes if I'm using a cereal box um, or a cracker box or something like that, I might not need two pieces of chipboard but I'm using an actual book so I believe I actually need <laughs> okay there we go 
There we go. And set that aside. And, oh, we still have to, okay, let's check this out. Cleaning up the edge of this one. That one's fine. Okay, so I need to, I'm going to need to glue these two together. But also, I think, yeah, they're a little bit bigger than the, What if we go ahead and we'll cut it and we'll cut it. I'm throwing things away here too, by the way. I just threw both of those pieces away. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Okay, I happen to have my Combo Mono Liquid Glue. The bottom is ready. This one just has a little bit of glue left. So that's the one I'm going to use here. Okay. I hope I have enough fabric to do this. We'll see. We will see. Okay. So, two pieces together. Two pieces together. Okay. Make sure there's no glue on my table. Bye bye, glue. So this is the back. Now at this point, I could turn the could have turned it over, but I've already. Okay, so this is the front. This is the back. Okay. So I have a piece cut for the front. What do I have for the back? Uh oh, might have to use my last. Hmm. 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 Okay, going through the pile here. Okay, well, this is my front, this is my back. This is the most important part right here, <laughs> right? Okay, let's make sure that you're sticking. Okay, I have this piece. Okay. Okay, and I'm thinking stitching 
down here is what I wanted. Okay, I do have this piece, but it's not, it doesn't fit the whole thing. We need something underneath there. Something. Okay. Ooh, we've almost used this whole, this whole blue. Now this, this each layer of glue is also going to add, um, make this stronger. So originally I thought, I really thought I was going to be able to do this with one, um, with my book and not having to add the spine piece to it. So I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let that dry. Okay, we'll go ahead and let that dry. I'm going to cut the cut the edges off so they don't mess with the gutter. Okay. Okay. So there we go. We're going to let that, let that dry. This is going to be our cover. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. That, that's going to work really well. Now, you know what I have? I have this butterfly. I have other things too. I don't want to lose that poppy, poppy, that poppy. I have this. I was thinking about taking this smiley thing off of here and putting that on there, kind of like the butterfly, kind of like the butterfly. Hmm. 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 Okay. Got to, got to come up with uh, something for the inside. And it, it can piece together. Right? I hope so, because it's probably going to have to piece together for the inside. Of course, I have that piece like I showed you in the beginning. Almost tall enough, but not quite. I'm figuring for the inside here. That's what I'm... Okay, so the outside is... We're good on the outside put that over there. So for the inside, we can go like, like that. And that can go like, well, it's going to come around and down. I mean, how big, how, how far around is it going to come in? Mm, not that much. OK. 
Okay, so that doesn't quite, doesn't quite go. Has anybody ever done a patchwork binding before? <laughs> I think I think it'll work. It'll actually be pretty strong. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm thinking this one should be the under piece. This one will go on top. Okay, and then this one will go on top of that. This will be covered with a pocket. Okay, so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do right there. Okay, so let's pick it up, put it over here, turn it all over. This is the back, this is the front, this is the middle. Okay, so we'll put this on the line, the line, the line, bring it in, here on the line, bring it in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we pretty much have finished with this one. So well, it feels like there's still some in there. Okay. Go ahead and put put some glue down. Wouldn't that be something if we had enough to do the whole thing? Okay, so this is gonna be the inside. this down to the line, to the line, to the line. Make sure you're not too far out. Okay, here we go. I have this piece right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Side down, put this side down. Okay, now we'll lift this up. And we'll put glue on here. Well, actually, can move you over. And it is, that one is now done. Okay, whoop, pull that back out because I need the lid. Okay, so need the top on it to use the bottom. Okay, top on to use the bottom. 
pull the the dried glue off. Go ahead and put the glue on here. Oh. Okay, now we'll come back and grab this piece even and put that down. Okay, so the middle is all covered there. Now we need to cover this. You want to line it up with this one in the back because the front one is definitely going to get covered with a pocket. Okay, so there we go. That's our center. Now I'm going to go ahead, come over here, and um, well, for one thing, I know I need this. That needs to be like that. Okay. I'm holding on to this. Hopefully it won't move. Put my fingernail in the, the glue there. Okay. Pull it over. Okay. And we take this side. Do the same thing. glue here. Okay. So I did not line the inside of this one because um, this is the inside. I think that that'll be okay that we didn't line it. And I'm just going to pull This will give us, makes it easier for the book to open and close. Okay, so we'll just find our place on both sides best we can. Okay. just there we go I think that that's gonna be good okay we'll watch how this does as it's drying and so we have pretty good size spine here and come over to this side and look and see what we've got okay I'm thinking we have a problem here There's no glue coming through to that. That is not good. And somehow the Scott moved. It needs to move in a little.
too far away from that. Okay, so we're gonna re reset it. Reset it. Reset you bed. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's going to take a little bit, but. There you go. That's the inside. We can turn it over and we can do the outside. Okay, we're going to let this dry. Okay, so our inside is doing well. It is drying. And so we've continued to use the pen. And then I want to show you the the other side, I did put this down and I've added the butterfly from the dresser scarf to the front. And so I'm also going to put probably a something from that we've made here on the front as well. And but I'm really liking it. I, I like that um, this butterfly has helped with what's going on in this area. So I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, so we're back. It's the next morning and it is all dry and I love the way it turned out. So, um, yeah, I love it. So we went from that little tiny spine What was it? We went from an inch and a half to two and a half inch spine. So I think with my pages that I'm adding and my box of goodies, I think we'll be good. Okay. So yeah. So stay tuned. We'll be adding um, pages and in the coming days. And we'll have this little journal finished for the uh, one box, October one box challenge. Okay. So, yeah, I love the way the butterfly turned out. I have another butterfly um, still. So, but I think I might use that for another, another journal. So, and I'm probably going to put one of the pieces that we've made on the cover. Um, so, yeah. So, there you go. Reconstructing a cover because my cover wasn't big enough. Um, have you done this? Will you do this? Have an amazing day. <laughs> Find something to celebrate every day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.